plaintiff, Shamir Walker, says she and the defendant share the same father. And after one of her sisters passed away, Shamir was granted emergency custody of her nephew. Shamir claims the defendant called Child Protective Services and said Shamir was unfit to care for the child. And she's suing because the defendant refuses to return her nephew's property. Defendant LaShonda Greer admits that she reported Shamir as being unfit to care for her nephew, but says it's because she lives in the projects. LaShonda's countersuing because she claims Shamir told people that LaShonda was badmouthing their deceased sister. Start with you. Okay, the defendant and I are half sisters. We share the same father. Um, throughout the years, we've been, you know, we got along off and on due to the fact of her always being the black sheep of the family, a liar, a mess starter. For example, a couple of years ago, I was engaged and LaShonda came and took me, like a sister, to go to different bridal shops to, you know, look for a dress. And before she could even drop me off, she had called different family members stating that I wasn't gonna get married, it was in my mind, and I was, you know, delusional. Um, well, did you get married? No. <laughs> but I did get the dress, and that's just an example of how she's just a liar. Um, my deceased sister and LaShonda um, got into it all, no, July 31st of this year because LaShonda owed my deceased sister some money. And when she asked her for it, she said she only had $50. She could come get that, but that's all she had. So August 1st, the next day, LaShonda told everybody that my sister stole her rent money because she didn't want to pay her back. That's just another example of how she's a liar and a mess starter. Um, when did your sister pass? August 13th of 2000. After that? Not long after that? No. Her... My DC sister and LaShonda went through a battle of text messages back and forth. You About know. what? Um, her claiming, the defendant claiming my sister stole her rent money. My sister was okay. saying she's a liar. Nobody believed her. All right. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. So then a week prior to my sister falling sick, LaShonda said, I wish you dropped dead. I'll spit on your grave. Mm. August 10th, my sister was at the park with her one-year-old son, and she fell into cardiac arrest. And August 13th, she died. How old was she? 34. Oh, my goodness. Mm. So, um, like I said, August 10th, she fell into cardiac arrest. I called LaShonda and told her, you know, um, my sister was none. They couldn't resuscitate her. You know, we're going to the hospital. At the timing, we were at the hospital watching my sister fight for her life. My mother and I were in the waiting room, you know, comforting each other because my sister is fighting for her life. LaShonda went downstairs outside to her car where she swallowed two bottles of liquor, came upstairs, acted a complete fool. Doing what? Stating, I got $18,000 in my pocket. Let's life flight her out of here and take her somewhere else. So she was making, you know, me and my mother very upset. She made this big old scene, making it about herself again. They made everybody leave the hospital and they then, you know, admitted her downstairs in emergency because she was drunk. An hour later, she snatched the IV out of her arm and went walking down the street at four o'clock in the morning when a family member came and got her and took her home. While my sister was still in the hospital, still fighting for her life, LaShonda comes up to the hospital with balloons and flowers stating she was getting ready to go do a visual. Who does a visual for somebody who's not dead? Attention seeking again. All of this was inappropriate and just extra How did stress. It end in terms of her acting as she did at the funeral and all that. Oh well, that. she How came to the guy? service. Everything. You know, she came to though. the service. She made her 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 uh, her answers. My sister, my sister. You know, all on the casket, acting the fool again mm -hmm. or whatever. But you know. All right. Let me hear from you, ma'am. Give me some background. Shamir Walker is my sister. Very messy. She's lying about the whole thing. Um, Shamir called me every day to come to the hospital, before and after. If she didn't see me at the hospital, she called me to come to the hospital. Mm -hmm. I just did that. Shamir, um... Did you get drunk and act a fool at the hospital? No, no. You are I have a... Ma'am? Okay. Go ahead. She didn't interrupt you. You're it was, right. It was, it was a group of us. We was outside drinking. One, you all got drunk and asked for the food? Her, no, it was, it was her cousins and myself. We was outside. I mean, this was unexpected. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. my, sister, my sister was just living with me mm -hmm. a week before she passed away. Did you I, coincidentally say that? I hope you dropped dead. She stole $500 from me. 
Okay, I'm just wondering if you did. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, but if she was sick, I wouldn't have never said that. But prior, before my sister, but prior before me and my sister getting into it, I had just took her son um, shopping or whatever, and then she couldn't get no license. She didn't have license. So the car ended up being in my name, and she wanted to um, do a title loan in the car, which is still not paid for. But Shamir has the car. Okay, that doesn't sound like it's part of today's claim. It, it's not, that's why uh, I understand why let's she... Let's get to the property that you are suing okay. for. How does and... she owe you for property? Okay. My sister was storing things at LaShonda's house. Like, mm -hmm. LaShonda and my sister were cool periodically on and off. I'm not saying that they wasn't or whatever. I'm suing her for the stroller, a potty chair, a car seat, and baby clothes. For your sister's My sister's child. son, who I have legal emergency guardianship custody over him because, you, you know... to show that? Yes, here it goes. And, Your Honor, she also told me to keep it. I got that, too. And what's the emotional distress for? Um, for her acting a complete fool in the hospital. I have a letter from my mother right here, how my mother had to ask her numerous of times to leave out of Ebony's room because she was just acting. Her conscience was eating her up. Like she said, she did tell her to drop dead. No, she wasn't sick. And then not only that, she reaches out to my sister's 16-year-old son, who's a kid, and asks him, um, is your dad still going to pay that loan that your mom had? Tell him to call me. Like, he just buried his mother. Why are you sitting here upsetting him about an adult situation? She acted a fool at the funeral. Then she comes to me after the funeral at the repast. Oh, y'all didn't get me no shirts. I didn't buy the shirt. Somebody else okay. bought. Well, yeah, unfortunately, man. you can't get you know, uh, judgment for for people acting ignorant. Right. Um, otherwise, you'd be rich. <laughs> uh, and so would I, and so would the rest of oh, us. Oh, and I'm sorry, Your Honor. My emotional distress also, LaShonda went down to the clerk of courts in Cleveland yes, and lied, um, stating that my nephew that I have is in an unfit um, fit? environment. They sent somebody out to check my house before did they you do even that? gave me. Yeah, they're going to paper right she here, Your Honor. She live in a five, she live in a two bedroom I live in a project. three bedroom house. No, no, I don't. don't. No, I don't. No, yes, don't. I do. You stay in the project. Do. No, no, I don't. You've never been in my house. So what about staying in the project? What does that have to do with being unfit? Why don't you be quiet? Now you are about to show your colors. Did you criticize this one about living in the project? I'm from the projects too. Now you want to talk about me? No, because I'm from the projects. But well, then what you mentioning it for? What's your counterclaim for, man? Oh, what do you say to the oh. property, first of all? The stroller oh, and the other the, items? The, the stroller and the mm -hmm. potty chair, I told her that I had, but until she started slandering my name around mm -hmm. and everything like that, it's in my basement to the day. All right, why didn't you give it to her? I told her when I had time, I give it. We was cool. I said when I get time, that I drop so it off. So why does she have to sue you for it? Because she went around. It's people going around talking. Oh, Shamir said this. Shamir said, said that. Said what? Um, my our one cousin came up. Was like, oh, you talking about um, our nephew? I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, I had just like that. That's how my daughter ended up getting. So it for that, you say I'm keeping the baby stuff. No. Take no. it out on the baby. No. Huh? I told her that when I get time, because I work a lot, and she mm -hmm. knows that. She heard knows that this. part as well. I told her that when I get time, that mm -hmm. I drop it off. Then all of a sudden, she said, "Oh, you can keep it." It's right here in the text message. Let's she see. Only, she, me, she, mm -hmm. she only. She only called me. She's trying once. to take me to court for my nephew. She has no blood relation to my nephew. Why not? My Y'all my sister passed away. You need to talk about what's relevant to the case. You want to get messy, both of no, you, I'm messy not and gossipy. Messy, Let's under. talk about the property. She just handed me some text messages where you said she could keep it. Now, do you have any evidence? I don't have any evidence for my phone. This is a text message between her and my sister the week before my sister died, where she told my sister, my house is not the storage. And my sister said, while you're dropping stuff off, can I get me and the rest of my baby stuff? What's the stroller in the potty? Okay, and that's what you need to be talking about, all this mess. I can't solve your mess. <laughs> It says on the second page, can they, you bring me the rest of me and my baby stuff, please and thank you. And LaShonda said on the first page, that her the second page, that her house is not the storage. I asked LaShonda numerous times, could I get Chase stuff? The last conversation I had with her through text, she said, I got a $75 parking ticket. Who was going to pay it? LOL. I said, I'll handle it the legal way. You have that? <gasps> I do. Oh. I see something. I do. Can I come get Eb stuff and Chase? I got your text. Don't have nothing in Chase's but his stroller and potty. Got this parking ticket. 
is $75. What did you talk about the parking ticket for when you all were discussing uh, the baby's property? Because I was asking who was going to... Because the original thing was that my the D, the D, the D, the D.C. sister had got a um, title loan. No, no. And it was parking... What does that have to do with the baby's property? Oh, it don't have nothing to do with the so baby's property. So why did you mention it in the context of discussing the baby's property? Because I wanted my money, too. If I'm meeting up with right. her to it give sounds her like stuff, you were withholding the baby's property oh. until you got your $75 yeah. for your ticket. Your Honor. Your slander is for what? Because she went around telling people... What did you say she told people? She was um, telling people that I'm talking about our deceased sister, telling people that I'm doing things, but I have no communication with you. you have any evidence of that? Um, text messages from the, um, the deceased sister best friend. Saying what? Saying that, um... That I have did a lot for the... Oh, he's She's angry and I said it when she did the obituaries. You see how she did me an obituary and Pam let her, that was some BS. Yeah, once again, all you all are gossiping and yeah. being messy and talking about I each other. I was just trying... I will grant you, ma'am, that is enough from you. Woo, I don't blame you. <laughs> <laughs> ma'am, that is enough from you. Woo, I don't blame you. <laughs> your Honor, Your Honor, I'm trying to give you your money, ma'am. I'm sorry. Now you all go and handle this mess somewhere else. I'm throwing you out of here. Now, I'll grant you your judgment for the property, and that is $1,245. Since you like holding it so much, it's yours now. No, you keep it but... and pay her the $1,245. No one's getting any emotional distress but me. <laughs> so I'm going to award myself. Your claim is dismissed, and yours is granted. <laughs>